Oh, look, a letter on the ground. Oh, dear, look, it's a letter. Wishing you a happy holiday season. Oh, dear, it's a check from someone's grandmother. Okay, so I was walking down the road, and I saw this letter. I'm like, oh, cool, some letter. And it was open already, so I didn't think getting it would, you know, be a federal offense. So I looked in it, and it turns out it's a, it's a check from someone's grandma for Christmas. Grandma! So, it's our mission now. We have to go to this place. It's in town. It's not too far away. We're going to deliver someone's Christmas. We're Santa Claus, and we are going to save Christmas. Yeah. Especially because it's January. Jordan's delivering a pizza. And after that, we'll deliver hope and dreams and Christmas and love. After Jordan made his delivery, we made our trek to our final destination, and I couldn't help but think about Christmas gifts and how people felt about gifts they received or maybe in this case didn't. I think it was around maybe 96 or so. I got my first bicycle and uh, I took it out in front of my house and uh, I decided that I, I was a master at it already and uh, I actually I got it going and then I, I, I don't think I understood how the dynamic of the steering wheel works so I was going and I went yeah 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 and I have been ripped my knee over. got something like awesome. Can't remember what it was now. It was like that was something stupid. But um but it was awesome. Like I really wanted that for Christmas. And like he opened that first and then I opened up my present. And it was in like a checkerboard box. But I just kind of figured it was just a box so I got I still got excited. Um and then I opened up the box and it was just a checkerboard. So I just got stuck with a checkerboard and he got like the coolest present ever. six I uh I was a big Batman fan. Every every Christmas I uh, would get Batman toys. Um uh, biggest one I remember I had about a collection of uh, different types of Batman. And um and it came with this big giant Bruce Wayne manor set with a Batmobile. And I was like in awe. I was just staring there I was just like and I peed myself a little bit. But when I opened up the Wayne Manor toy set, inside was the Joker, Mr. Freeze, and Penguin, right? Oh, oh how I love Santa. Now I know it wasn't really Santa, but you know, different story. Next Christmas, I got a uh, new edition of Batman toys, uh, including Robin, but this little clear silver type of Batman, he had like attachments on his back and was like wings. Oh, it's legendary. Legendary. Best Christmases of my life. Somewhat of a somber end for this. Turns out the people that this was going to don't live there anymore. Yeah. 
So, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. It's been a few days since I tried to deliver the package and, you know, with the obvious result that no one was there. And at first it was kind of a bummer, but after that, I, uh, I realized that it, it's definitely salvageable. And so I decided to still make out the call to people to get interviews and tell, and tell their stories. And I started editing and really got my heart going. You know, um... I, you know, asking everybody what their favorite gifts were, got some. I got some really surprising and sweet answers, and it really brings me back to the fact that nowadays, and even a little bit when I was a kid, that I always loved to get presents for people and give them things, and that's why this was so interesting to me. It's not the fact that someone kid's not getting a fifty dollar check. I mean, that's the basic you know premise to make it seem interesting. But the idea is that grandma sent somebody a check. You know, fifty dollars from grandma might not be a big deal. Or it's a huge deal. The fact isn't the monetary amount she sent. It's that she has this gift that's stuck in the ether and it's got to suck. We've all gone into our closets and found a Christmas gift that never got sent to somebody. And so that's why I did this. And so, really, my favorite gift is the gifts I give to other people. And my favorite gift this Christmas is going to be the gift that I give to this lady when she gets her check back. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to call her. And I'm going to, you know, let her know what's going on. And I hope it goes well. So, uh, wish me luck. Merry Christmas. Hello? Excuse me, who is this? Ma'am, you don't know me. But I found your Christmas card to your grandson. Christmas card? I tried to deliver it, but they're not there. Where are they? Ma'am, I don't know where they are. But we won't worry about that. I'm going to send you your card and your check, and you're going to find them. Because I'm on your side, and Christmas is on your side. Christmas will be saved, because I believe in you. I'm so glad there's people out there like you. Thank you, ma'am. But I'm glad there's people out there like you. Merry Christmas. I love you. I love you, too.